little beautiful ones. <laughs> um, so I'm in Spulderbos in Ermelo. It's near my home. And there is a legend inside the forest, which I want to discover. I want to see what's going on here. And I don't know why I have this voice, but it makes everything more chill. No, but anyway. Okay, so legend is saying that um, there was a monastery inside the forest. And the story is that these priestress, priestresses, I'm not sure if they were men or women, that they sold their soul to the devil. And I have been here before and I must say that I didn't feel that. I felt that there was another story be uh, behind this and that these people were actually really advanced and that they had a different kind of approach when it came down to religion. That's why they were set aside as being like Satanist or whatever, because in that time it was not really accepted to follow a different course. So that's why they, they were hiding in the forest. Um, yeah, that's kind of my own story. Uh, that was just the information that I kind of downloaded when I was there the last time. Right now I'm walking, as you can see, in the forest. Um, I haven't checked the map, so I'm just gonna like ask for direction and see if I can find it even. And otherwise I will come back another time, but yeah, thank you for being here, by the way. Thank you for walking with me during this beautiful Thursday midday. <laughs> the light today is something else. So many rays of light in this forest. I don't even know if I can capture it with my camera, but here, there is some very, something's very specific about the light here, I notice. Yeah, I cannot capture it with my camera, but the energy is good. <laughs> I love how it feels like as if the forest is speaking to me. Um, you know, because you can hear the leaves falling from the trees as I speak to you, you know? I love magical things and I love how the sun, you know, creates all these beautiful patterns. Just following the sun. That's a good idea. I found a map and uh, the story says that um, that these priestesses le loved to sing in the forest um, and that during Christmas night the monastery sank to the bottom of the forest and during full moon, after midnight, you can hear the ghost singing their favorite song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yes, I found it. And I love that I'm the only one here. When I got to this place, I really felt a lot of calmness and it was almost like the chit chatter of my mind was put on the passenger seat and I felt really connected to my heart. And I really felt that there was something really magical and secretive about this area. And um, later, when I got home, I found out that this place was known to be a central point where people brought offerings to their goddess soul. 
And on top of that, I also found out that this whole area has a lot of ley lines. And let me explain a bit what ley lines are. So in 1921, an archaeologist named Alfred Watkins made a discovery. Um, and he noticed that ancient site at different points around the world fell into a sort of alignment they all fell into a certain pattern, usually a straight line. And he coined these lines lays and later ley lines. And in doing so, this opened up a world of supernatural and spiritual beliefs. So if we think about, you know, places like the pyramids or Stone Edge or Angkor Wat in Cambodia, these ancient sites are really placed at a specific place on earth and together they form a whole map uh, in which information is able to travel so these lines they hold specific information and they are all connected want to record this with my phone but yeah I feel I have always felt really drawn to these places um, where there is you know a specific story to a specific land and a specific wisdom and I feel the wisdom is still in the land it never disappears really um, yeah it's like these places have a certain energy to them and I noticed when I was walking that around the area that I felt really in my heart space and of course critics could say yeah whatever you're always in your heart space (laughs) just kidding Um, but I feel really calm like the chit chatter of my mind just turned off and I could just really dropping into my heart space and that was all that was needed for me actually nothing more yeah but back to what I wanted to tell you that this whole earth carries specific information and the information is still inside the earth and I have this urge to understand more of our human galactic history because I feel and I believe that we were way more advanced back in the day and everything that you see right now in the world is actually based on really um, old technology So they were way more advanced back then and they were working with magnetic fields, um, with eternal energy and uh, yeah, I feel that we are now in a really interesting time where we either are our own destruction or we pave the way for something new, for this, you know, ancient technology to um, re-emerge. And it is just really a really beautiful time to be alive and to honor the beautiful shift that is taking place on this earth. Um, never forget that uh, because something really magnificent it's, is taking place because the consciousness of the earth is rising and we are really rising with her. So there's also a reason why you came here during this time and why you probably go through these big shifts in life and these big transition times and there's no reason to fear these changes or to have resistance to them even though it can be really scary to let go but just as this earth is you know going through her evolution we as humans have the evolution too and the more and easier it is that we let go of you know, our old ways and our old way of thinking, the easier it gets to come back to what it is that we, you know, are meant to be and meant to create here 
on this planet. Um, yeah, that's something that I really wanted to share. And I feel a lot of us are now like in the state of remembering that we were here before. It's not like this is our first time here. And like we, we remember all of these skill sets that we have and these, you know, these tools that were really part of our lives. Um, for example, in uh, Lemurian and Atlantean times, we were really advanced with um, energy and sound vibration and to bring the body into a state of harmony through sound. And that's also something that we can really, you know, pay attention to, to sound and vibration and th through finding our own voices because the tone of our voice, our natural tone, you know, needs to be shared with the world. Like everybody has a unique story to tell and share. And now is actually the time. Um, because looking back at that story about, you know, the place of where the monastery was, those people were probably high advanced, but they have to, had to hide because they were not following the orders of, you know, institutional religion. And when you don't follow a certain course, direction you are basically always the outcast or the rebel or you know the witch or whatever you want to call it and back in the day I feel a lot of us carry a certain wound of the past that is now kind of like bleeding out into our now that there were times where we would be prosecuted for speaking our truth for being placed on um, into the fire basically and now when all of this like trauma is being so to say coming to the surface it's like there's no way of looking away um, and not standing fully in your light anymore because it's almost like when you don't follow the cue of sharing your voice or you know whatever it is that you need to be doing it's like you're basically giving your own power away and you're basically giving up on yourself and the rest of us <laughs> because we need everybody right now to fully stand in their power um, so yeah beautiful message that is coming through right now uh, yeah these days actually that don't give up on yourself and don't give up on what it is that you're meant to share here because your voice is the medicine that this earth needs and the more that we share our voices the more that we give other others permission to do the same and uh, to not be scared of you know you leading the way because it's easier to shut your mouth but in the end of the day it's not because it's gonna hurt you when you don't speak up so Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this walk, wherever it may take me. And if there's something coming up, I will definitely share it with you. But thank you so much for your support and for tuning in. And I see you another time. Thank you so much. Love you.